Okay, so I thought I'd trial run my my big high banker, the beast that I made up the uh, bigger header box with. I got my backyard just simple recirculating thing operation going. I got a 3,700 gallon an hour and a 2,200 gallon an hour bilge pump down there because it takes a lot of water to supply this thing. So I uh, have the 48 inch high banker outfitted with gold gold hog matting. I got a UR up underneath the, the punched plate. Comes down into a scrubber, two, two razorbacks, two scrubbers, and finishes off with two razorbacks. So it's 48 inches of of uh, sluicing capability. I also have another 48 inch sluice that I can put right at the end of it if I'm out in the field um, and need the extra extra volume. If I'm pushing a lot through, I'll put that extra one on there. You can see this is just my two little pumps. I'm getting good water flow down in it. Yeah, a little bit, a lot of water to for those little pumps to push up, you know, four feet. But Got a few little leaks coming out. Got a little leak right here on one of my rivets, but that's okay, you know. It, a little bit of water coming out, so not bad. As you can see, I got really, really good, really good flow coming down through that matting. That matting is just incredible when it comes to uh, catching, catching gold. So I'm going to try to do this one-handed. What I'm going to do is just uh, put a scoop of some dirt in here that I've already ran once before, but just for purposes here, I'm gonna try it again. Just dump it in there. You can just dump it in as fast as you want. You can see how that matting, it just starts cleaning out real quick. Seeing getting some of the bigger little rocks caught in there. If you can look close behind that matting, you'll see how some of the heavier blonde sands and the black sands will all, will all uh, catch there. There, if you can see it real close, you can see that there's a lot of dancing particles. I don't know if you can see that, but the particles are really dancing, got good action. Um, and then the excess is running off down in here in a bucket. So I'll go ahead over here to my trusty Whirlboro and I'll get another scoop. You can put, oh, six tons, five, six tons an hour through this. You can see it just in that destruction chamber, just tears it up. Just tears up jack in there. Flows down through, get another scoop. Don't have to worry about how fast you scoop this stuff in. But as you can see, I'm not taking, breaking it up good, coming down through the sluice real good. Got good flow. So I'll go ahead and, and run the rest of this. Again, this is just a test drive in my backyard with my 48 inch high banker I made myself. I'll see ya.